Let's take up our rule for today, a chivalric rule. And that rule is this, my conscientious self, keep to your principles in prosperity as well as in adversity. Keep to your principles in prosperity as well as adversity. Now, it isn't uh, difficult, is it, to keep to one's principles when one is um, at the top of the world, so to speak. Safe and sound and, um, and um, endowed with every privilege and every opportunity and um, limitless resources. Then, of course, it's very easy. Um, to act with um, utmost um, punctiliousness. It's when one finds oneself stretched that one is tested, one is challenged. Easy to be charitable when one's bank account is limitless, but to be generous when funds are tight, that's, that's more challenging. Easy to be truthful when there are no consequences. More difficult to be honest when one could be persecuted for telling the truth. So this principle reminds us that we will be tested in our principles. It's very easy to nod in agreement with a moral um, maxim, but the challenge comes when we find ourselves stretched, when we find ourselves in tense times, facing uncertainty, when all is not easy, all is not secure, pushed to the wall, then what? You might find in this world that those that become your closest friends are the ones with whom you've passed through hard tests together. You've been through hard times together. You've been with each other, not just skimming the surface along during happy times, but through thick and thin, and have been there for each other through it all that forges a trust, a loyalty that is very precious in this world. The sense of being with each other, not only being with each other when, when all is easy, being with each other in hardship. And we know those that we can turn to in hardship, those who manifest the best, the best of qualities, not only when it's convenient, not only when it's very visible, but in those hard times, those are the ones we admire most of all. Those are the ones we want to turn to and, and, um, and trust. So this principle inspires us to be among those who in hard times, don't abandon their principles, don't cut corners, don't take the easy way out because it's convenient, because it's simpler. But if there's a principle, if there's a moral, if something important is at stake, we'll persevere, even against all odds, even at the cost of great personal loss. That's what this principle is reminding us. But with all of these principles, we also have to be careful. Because sometimes one can take a principle to the extreme so far that it becomes an exaggeration. You lose the wisdom of it. So in this principle, the principle is keep to your principles in prosperity as well as in adversity. Now a misunderstanding of that principle, an exaggerated understanding might be that just decide on what you are um, beliefs are and stick to those beliefs no matter what 
evidence comes, no matter what you learn, no matter how you are invited to grow through life's journey, just stick to a set of beliefs that is preordained. No, that's, that would be a, um, a fanatical interpretation of this uh, principle, because in fact, if we're living, our minds are living and growing, our hearts are living and growing, our principles are not rigid, fixed things. They are living things. They are maturing, ripening, organic things. They're not things, they're, they're beings. In fact, principles are angels. Ideals are angelic beings, mawakkalan. So let them, let not our concept deaden something that has a life beyond the fixity of our concept. Moshe says principles are to guide one's life, not to restrict it. One must not even make principles so set that one cannot alter them. So have clear principles, live by those principles, let those principles grow and deepen and ripen, but avoid by all means abandoning one's principles out of expedience because of hardship. On the contrary, let that very hardship um, only further uh, enhance the meaningfulness of the ideals which guide our life. So these are the words. I'll say them one more time. And if you'd like to join in the affirmation of them afterward, we'll say them together. The words are, my conscientious self, keep to your principles in prosperity as well as in adversity. My conscientious self, keep to your principles in prosperity as well as in adversity.